Hello everyone, my name is Nicola, I'm one of the co-founders of Skypool. Wind is one of the biggest energy reservoirs on Earth, yet most of its potential remains untapped by current technology. The reason being that those potentials are in the upper wind layers and hence unreachable by conventional wind turbines. So how do we get up there? So while the industry is racing for bigger and taller wind turbines, we chased our vision and developed Skypole. Skypole is a tethered autonomous drone that climbs to and captures the power of altitude winds. It takes off vertically and uh, once at operating altitude, it turns into a kite mode, generates lift, enhanced traction on the tether that is unwinding a ground generator. Very quickly, the main components. So we have an autonomous drone that acts as a kite, and we have a ground generator that transforms kinetic energy into electricity. Both systems are connected by a tether. By reaching higher altitudes, um, Skypole is able to produce twice as much energy at half the cost of conventional wind turbines. Furthermore, because it doesn't need a 100 meter tall tower and a 1,000 ton basement, it is much more versatile and deployable than conventional wind turbines. The founders team is composed of three seasoned professionals. Aldo and myself are engineers with many years of experience in aviation projects, aeronautical design, and composite structure. Marcello has been working many years in this specific sector and is an airborne wind energy expert for the European Commission. Our board president is, has a long-lasting tenure in academia for electrical power systems. Over the past few years, we invested a lot of resources into R&D that led to a working prototype, an international patent, and the flight approval by the Swiss authority. We are now in the proof of concept phase, validating the full concept. A few pictures of our test site in Switzerland and the full system in action. We are now um, heading into the next development phase that will lead to a commercially viable prototype uh, from which we will derive the first product. It's going to be a 100 kilowatt fully mobile system for off-grid and mini-grid applications in remote and isolated areas. In parallel, we want to scale up and build a 17 meter, one megawatt power system for on-grid applications in energy utilities, power generation companies, and wind farm operators. Nothing normal has ever changed the world, right? Thank you very much for your attention. Awesome, and what a nice end in line with our theme at Slush. And now please, Jerry, your questions. Uh, this, this sounds very similar to an experiment done by Google X. I, I think I've actually seen in the, in the reception area of, of Google X in Palo Alto uh, the, the sort of plane that they used for a similar experiment. So how are you different from what Google gave up? Google hasn't given up. It's still on. Uh, if I may just go to the compet competitor slide, let's see if it can do that very quickly. This one. So Google X, actually, Makani Power, they use an uh, airborne generation system. So what they do is they have a flying device and send up the whole flying device with the generators in the air. So the main difference between them and us is the generation. Where is the generation taking place? So they have, they have to transfer the energy, electricity, through a thick cable to the ground. Uh, we instead are producing the energy on the ground. And we only have a thin cable for transforming or translating the kinetic energy of lift. How often, how often do you need to bring it down for maintenance? And who does maintenance? All right. So it is a fully autonomous system, um, energy independent. So the onboard energy is actually maintained in the recovery phase. When the, the kite is diving down, the propellers are used to regenerate the onboard system. So on that perspective, it is fully autonomous. Now, in case of um, heavy storms, potential intruders, uh, defects, it will land autonomously. Second sub. Uh, your question regarding maintenance. So we coming from the aviation industry, 
we are looking at having scheduled maintenance every X flight hours. Uh, we haven't said that yet because we haven't, let's say, the, the flight logs yet. Um, can you talk a little bit about your go-to-market strategy? Are you planning to sell this to uh, retail? Like, how do you... Yeah. Yes, excellent. Good. Um, so we actually positioning ourselves very upstream in the value chain. Uh, we do not intend to uh, deliver a turnkey solution and deal with the overall plant design at the end user, but we want to partner with uh, incumbent system integrators, uh, provide them the technology, and have them deliver the whole package to the end users. The end users might be, might be uh, energy utilities, power generation companies, wind farm operators, or even if the system is small enough and mobile, um, you know, natural disaster relief organizations that need um, power supply in remote areas independent of grid or diesel uh, supply. Okay, so um, I, uh, you had a slide about the, the, the go-to-market strategy. So how far are you from a uh, commercially available prototype? Was it two or three years, right? Yes, correct, two years. Okay. So what, what are the milestones you need to, to, to do now in order to achieve that? Um, so we are now entering the second phase where we want to exactly uh, develop a commercially viable six-meter wingspan prototype. Um, we plan to have this done within the two next years. There are different phases in there. One of them is also tied to aviation certification steps, obviously. Um, we have technological development. Um, we have to increase complexity in the onboard systems. Um, that's what we have to do. So it's, it's, we expect two years to market still. How does it work from a regulatory point? All right. The time is up. Thank you so much, Nicola from Skypool.